I'm glad to have you back on the program. It's still Daybreak Africa. And this morning, we have a very interesting topic, as you already know that it's the Thank God is Friday episode of Daybreak Africa. And this morning, we are talking about divorce and settlements. Now, there's been a lot of stories around um, divorce and um, settlements. We know that uh, mostly the settlement part happens uh, in the Western world or outside Nigeria, where uh, the couple is expected to bring together everything they have and split it 50-50. But um, in Nigeria here, that law does not necessarily hold water across the station there are some i mean the uh, nation rather there are some places where people don't really care about such things there are still traditions as well that um in nigeria has been put in place that after divorce the wife does not even get anything or only the male children get something but there's a lot and lot of issues to talk about when it comes to divorce and settlements especially in nigeria now joining us to talk about this this beautiful friday morning is the beautiful esther abu good morning esther good, morning. good to have you on the program how are you doing I'm very well, thank you. I like the Nigerian ness in you. <laughs> I'm very well too, though. I'm very well. Now we're talking about divorce and settlements. And um, one of the most trending stories that we, or do I say trending stories, maybe not most, but um, one of the stories that shook the internet is the story of uh, Akraf Akimi and um, Ebue and some other footballers who have taken measures to ensure that their wife gets nothing after divorce and a lot of other celebrities have been called out uh, based on these stories now in the case of Akraf Akimi report has it that um, he put his wealth under his mom's name so basically his mom owns everything now at the point of divorce usually when you divorce both parties have to come together okay I have 15 era you have 17 era we bring it together that's 120 naira then we split it into two both of us get 60 60 naira but in this case uh the uh the wealth is under a craft's uh, mom's name and which means that the wife doesn't get anything from <laughs> the old um divorce and then he would actually get whatever she has because what she has is what they both have and she's going to lose like maybe half of her money but before um, we talk about this story, I just want to put just a disclaimer or a warning out there. Now, when you are responding to, <laughs> when, you are, when we are talking about this, you have to be um, to be unbiased and not look at it just from the woman's side. Are you trying to? I'm just warning both of you ahead that we just have to not just look at it from the woman's side okay. because this, if we take it from the Akrafakimi story, is going to look like. Uh, women are the ones they are the victims here mm. and they are the disadvantaged mm. but when it comes to divorce and settlements um, history has shown that women have been the ones advantaged in fact most of these 50 50 settlement stuff were created because of women, women yeah. not necessarily because of men because men have always had the mentality to provide and all of that now let's talk about this let's start with um, Esther divorce and settlement let's even stay, start with the 50 50 thing should it even be in the first place oh. well um, is the breathing in for me <laughs> <laughs> divorce and settlement well in my own opinion although yes just like you said um it's women are of great advantage when it comes to um, after divorce 50 50 said to me because you had the especially maybe in this and nigeria if you want to do that women are of great be be um, benefit because you hardly see a, a a a wife that is maybe richer than the husband it's the husband that owns everything that, so that's that's an actual divide, slap on us as women <laughs> an actual slap property, they are dividing and here and right there. When right I opinion i would say if as a wife like you you never contributed to the success story of your husband. You were not there when he was uh, when he was working, toiling to get the money and all that. I don't see the reason why you're entitled to any of his maybe fifty fifty of his property. That yeah, was straight. You did not. You did not. You, you, you were not there when. <laughs> the lady is about to when, ring fire. When he was suffering so for it. <laughs> so because it's this entitlement that makes um most ladies now, most single ladies now, they, they are not marrying for love. They are not marrying because they love the person. Maybe they are married because the person is rich. And they are mar marrying because they have this ulterior motive of, okay, uh, let me marry him. After three years, we'll divorce and then I'll get 50% of his properties and, and all that. It's because of this same 
the same reason. So me, I feel if you if if if, if to an extent you, you, you did not support him and you were not even there when he was making his wealth, then why will you be uh, clamoring for fifty percent of his wealth? Are you just I don't know what right. is about to attack you, but please go ahead. I... Okay, go ahead, ma. Okay, I agree with you at the latter part that um, there are some ladies who don't marry for love again. They all oh, they they just want to get married and then maybe later on divorce the man and get the property. But I want to <clears throat> I want to cancel you where you said um um. Where he said, if you are not part of his success story, no, no, where he said a, 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 a lot of um, when it comes to sharing properties, the men are the richer ones. That's she said right. in most, many cases, in, in, in most, most cases, cases. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think that in this generation now, like this generation we are. Hold on, Richard. I'm this generation on, we are. But I'm ready to reply you. <laughs> <laughs> this generation that we have, most women have the upper hands in their marriage like when it comes to um, financially most women are the breadwinners of their home but they will not let you know they still cover up for their husbands and that is why most of them fight tooth and nail when it comes to divorce processes and all of that like they they want to get the property because what? May, may I respond? Well, how many, how many may I respond? Story have you seen? It's uh, they started sharing the woman's properties. Hold on, hold on. Let me respond. Like, to most of this, see, not wait, 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 wait. Esther, Most of these women, you know, like I, like I said during our um uh, in the media review segment and like that, the way we are wired that, that is different. Most of us, by the same, you know, when we are in love, we are in love. We are forgotten about any problem that that can come up later on. When we are in love, when you get a property, it's possible for you to write it in the name of your husband. It's possible for you to write it in Mr. and Mrs. something, something. Because you don't think of, you don't, you don't think that um, this person can come back to hurt you. And then this man goes out and does whatever he wants to do. And then you're not, you're not, you're no, more, you're no longer comfortable. May, may I say something? But, I'm coming up, but by the time you get to court, they are, they are, they are coming up like, uh, this, this is the man that is the owner of the property. So, is the uh, is No, the that... Lola, De, you are getting it wrong. Okay. Okay, first of all, there's no statistical evidence uh -huh. wherever to prove that um, most women in this generation have more money than their husband. Okay. You're only saying that probably because you're living in Lagos. Okay. When you move into a show state, Ekiti, Ondo, Borono, Nasarawa, Maiduguri, you find out that many of the women, women are reliant on okay. their husbands. Okay. So, there really is no evidence to prove. I'm not saying that... Uh, uh, the women uh, relying on their husband is more than men relying on their wives or whatever. But I'm saying that there's really no statistics to actually back your statement up okay. and uh, yours okay. I, uh, as well. But then I don't think that um, whatever uh, a, a woman has or whatever the husband has or a woman has is what is just the uh, prerequisite that the court will look into. Where in court they believe that there's an emotional investment and i think that's where i'm going to counter esther too okay. which is that um it doesn't it's, it, having to share from what your husband has is not necessarily a sense of entitlement now i'm not saying that there, are, there aren't women who, women rather who feel entitled to their husband's property for example akraf hakimi's wife she was actually demanding for more than 50 percent mm which is even above what the law says you understand and that feels that gives vibe of sense of entitlement now even the 50 percent, there are people that feel entitled that okay it's my right i must collect it but one of the things that was considered before this law was even made is the fact that um there's an emotional investment that you've invested in this person lola they said something earlier about um trusting your partner someone you feel like this person will not disappoint you you've put your weight on him you've uh, gone through a lot with him irrespective of even if you are not the brain behind his business or whatever is bringing him money but you have invested something and i feel like emotional investment is also more imp more expensive because in most cases it could actually put you in depression and in the end you might even die yeah, yeah. it might cost you your life it's, emotional investment is that expensive but the point is that when the court says your property is 50 50 it's not just about the man's property even if in uh, civilized countries even if the wife has more 
than the husband. It does not matter. What matters is that you have 70, I have 200. We bring it together, it becomes 270, and we split it in two, which means both of us get 135 and 135. Uh, I think now, it doesn't matter. Uh, um, Akimi's wife's property is Yes, exactly. Because whatever is in that, everything in that marriage, marriage becomes to uh, belongs to both of you. So it's not really about uh, they want to share the wife's property or the husband's property. I think that um, when... Um, divorce happens and when such settlements happen although most of these laws were created because of women because many times for example we have um i remember some time ago maybe about two years ago not so long uh, and i saw on the news where uh, there was this documentary on a particular village in the eastern part of nigeria and their women don't get anything out of a divorce in fact it could be the man that called for the divorce and the man will send them packing with nothing. nothing. And even if the woman has anything, you know, there was a time in this our world that whatever a woman has belongs to her husband. Mm -hmm. And when she's getting a divorce or she dies or whatever happens to her, everything belongs to that man. So I believe that for those reasons are why um, these kind of laws were put yes. in place. But then for me, I believe that the reality is that a lot of women tend to take advantage of those uh these laws because someone like um a craft's wife i don't know who she is i don't know her personality and i do not want to judge her but going by the um, report that she asked for more than 50 percent one would easily think that why are you asking for more than 50 percent i mean even if whether you are any more or less it's a lot of money Akimi earns about 138 million pounds per, I think per week or per, I don't know. So you look at it and you realize that, okay, it's a lot of money. Why are you asking for more? Oh, yeah. you know, then you w begin to wonder whether greed is in question. Mm -hmm. The thing is, uh, once, once it's, uh, I know, I'm, I'm not saying maybe there shouldn't be settlements or, or that, just like you rightly said now, that she's asking for more than 50%. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't be so. Like, yes, I, once um, a divorce wants to happen, yes, the woman shouldn't be allowed to go uh, empty yes, yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, there are kids to take care of and all that. Yeah, there should be settlements. But saying as in 50-50 uh, is what I'm um, um, I think that 50-50 is kind of too... No, I, 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 no, I think so, it's no, fair. 50-50 uh, is fair, but asking for more than 50 that's where you that's where everybody i think 50 50 that. is fair and i think it should remain fair irrespective of who has more the, uh, yeah, because yeah. most of the time not most of the time many times even before this um akrafa Kimik's case or a boy's case or the likes of ronaldo not getting married to his girlfriend mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we've seen that women have tried to play smart yeah. yeah when it comes to divorce settlements yeah. they always try to play smart in fact by the time you get to the woman's account you know it one, one naira. Naira they will seem to have nothing and then after the divorce they get the 50 percent from the man and that will be so i feel like 50 percent is fair but it should be fair on both sides don't say uh, because uh, 50 uh what's it called because i'm a woman uh, you, you can't get the 50 percent i feel like 50 percent is fair you know, I but it shouldn't be too uh stringent just before we came into the studio it's uh, it was the, the comment was under this um, Akimi story, so hmm. and um, the person said, um, I, I can't really remember the name, I think Ultra or something. Like, he got married to this lady, and it was um, 20 years, the lady was 20 years younger than him, and um, they, they got married for 20 years. They were married for 20 years, hmm. and then after 20 years, the woman decided she wanted to divorce him, and then she went to the court and all of that but then when she got to the court she realized that the husband that divorced her 20 years ago mm -hmm. so apparently there was a time they went on um, vacation to another country uh like that and um it was in that country i think uh, in that country you can divorce your partner without the other person's, the other person's knowledge wow oh. so it was like after four months of their marriage wow that he divorced her yeah because they already thought that she would one day do that, do that. Mm -hmm. and so she had nothing. Hmm. You know, people go into mm -hmm. marriages, they go into marriages with the pure intention of getting that 50%. Getting that 50%. We've seen it again but and again, not just people. The sad thing about this is they don't care. 
What are you talking about? They do not care. And when we are talking about people, it's mostly women. We've seen it again and again and again. Something uh, the, the boss made Elon Musk. I mean, what's his name? Uh, uh, it was Elon Musk. Elon made Musk. him drop. I mean, Jeff, Jeff Bezos, not Elon Musk. He made him drop from world richest man to number three wow. just because of divorce. Immediately after the divorce, the wife took fifty percent and it dropped. So you can imagine how much impact, impact. that is, yeah. and how many years was the marriage. So. I'm not saying that's what she did, but I'm just saying that we've seen it again and again and again. That's why you find out that some celebrities and people who have a lot of money, they want to marry people of their caliber. Mm. But because they know that too, once they marry Akin, someone Akin, who has Akin's money right too. Akin's right too is also rich, yeah, but yeah, all, yeah, or don't know There's that level to wealth. <laughs> Come that, on. Laura Day, please. Not, there's not levels rich, to wealth. Rich as Come on. The husband. Laura Day, please. I'm working. <laughs> no, no. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you something now. There was a time my husband said, oh, well, what's the in that office? Say, stay at home and I'll be paying you that salary. Just stay at home and I'll be paying you that salary. It's not like I'm broke. It's not like Sapa BMS. <laughs> but... <laughs> But there's levels to you can see the difference, and it's not like he is excessively rich or he has that yeah. billion or so, whatever, yeah. wherever he is. But it's just that there's levels to it. Come on, ah. I, she cannot end what is earning per what week in, the, in, in three months. Yeah, but <laughs> you are going to say something, okay? okay. Go ahead, mm -hmm. okay? But then I don't, for me, I don't feel that, um, I don't feel there is um, common sense in saying you want to get married to someone, invest your time, your energy. Even give birth your for body. this person, mm. your, your body. body. Even give birth for this person, raise kids with this person with the aim of getting a divorce later mm. on. The those people, is, they, you know, you know the those people, is, some of those people don't even raise kids. The thing is, uh, yes, I know we all want to. They don't even try to get pregnant. We all want to get better. Nobody wants to suffer. I'm talking about our ladies now. Nobody wants to suffer. Yes, and you want to marry like we ladies will see we that are not married want to marry a rich man and all mm. that yes it's okay nobody will say okay go and enter fire when there's no fire but the thing is if you decide you want to marry this person because the person has money and the person is rich mm. fine it's fine why not just do contract marriage no just even remain there why go in there like okay, they're not okay, even they are not even okay, interested so in marriage divorce and then get, that's they what are I'm not saying. even interested in marriage if, if that's what you want just go there and remain there i, I feel, feel like it's, 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 a, it's, it's a very wicked act of course, and it's unfair yes, it's because you don't you don't like uh there's this um what's it called i think it's a relationship expert or i don't know what his name is i think it's an indian guy he said something that you don't have fun with people's art of course you don't you, you cannot just toy with toy people's, people's emotions emotion. the other person is already feeling like oh yes i'm doing forever with, mm -hmm, with, mm -hmm, with, my, with mm -hmm. the love of my life is that not and that's why it's, 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 it's important, important for you to opinion. for you to think sit down and think nobody's pushing you into this marriage mm. sit down and think wisely before you say i do but then uh, in addition i know that it's important for men to protect themselves yeah but men yeah. should also try to be fair because in this akimi story he also um there's an allegation of him cheating yeah. although um not yet um but, fully verified but, that but what what I matter, said, like, we, yeah. we don't know what what's really happened in the marriage, in that marriage. Yeah. Yeah. what i read they said um, he cheated on the wife while the wife was on vacation with the kids well and then the lady he cheated with is accusing him of rape oh. Yeah, yes, I, yes, I but, the, to... but the whole case is not yet settled. That's yeah. one of the reasons yes. why I did not really want to talk in that yeah. line because, because he has also denied on. it and he did not, he did not say he did whatever they said he did. Mm. So it's really hard to put his feet on it. Some people are even saying that, okay, what if it was a setup? Mm. <laughs> Yeah. Because now, just that is that yeah. uh, that ground is what the wife is standing on standing to say on. she wants a divorce. Do yeah. you understand? So you, yeah. if you want to think about it, you want to think about it on both sides. But I would just encourage men, just to wrap up this segment, that men should try as much as possible to um, be truthful. Not just men and women too. I mean, if you want to fall in love, fall in love and just and be sincere. I think that's just what's important. Thank yeah. you so much, Esther, for joining us this morning. <laughs> All right, viewers, that's how far we can go on this segment of Daybreak Africa. We're going to have a quick break now when we return. Daybreak continues. <laughs>